this is more a case of point of why I got myself away from dead IPs and why Brian E. Meyer's book is important for that. <laughs> because, yeah, conservative ink focuses on issues, but they don't go out and support people that are trying to change the book landscape for the better. You know, actual escapism, people with a, some moral compass, promoting virtues over vices, it, basic things like that. Because that mindset is ultimately is what's kicking them in the balls right now. Case in point, we try to bring together like uh, Kickstarters or anything else where, you know, to get some things funded and out in the open. But some projects are lucky to even hit 10K while, you know, dead IP people are basically raking in, you know, the money because of their old coattails with the big dead two and everything else and yes they marvel and dc as a, a company they're pretty much dead they're just going by the numbers cookie cutter numbers to keep afloat and they don't remember what the aspirational is they absolutely have no idea how to create goddamn aspirational characters anymore which is supposed to be the heart of dc comics but it isn't and many of these IPs still get so many people giving them time, money, and attention in the hopes that somehow they'll reconnect with the people that actually put them on the map. That's not going to happen. It's like putting yourself by a dying fire and then when it goes out, you are frozen in place and there's nothing else left. There's only ash and a very, very unappealing bit in your mouth where it, it just tastes dead. We need stuff that has virtues again. We need stuff that has adventure again. We need stuff that people can genuinely enjoy and get away from the 24-hour shit fest cycle. And you know what? If I had half the money that Conservative Inc Incorporated had, I'd be funding as many fucking projects as I could find that want to give me what I want. I wish I had Bill Gates level money because I'd be backing everybody that I can. It's not that conservatives don't organize like the lefties do. It's that conservatives don't prioritize what the lefties prioritize. Um, if you want to get away from nihilistic fiction, piece of shit main characters, fucked up main characters where the villain is put on a fucking pedestal then you have got to start putting your money where your mouth is you have to get away from the dead corporations that want to give you nothing but um, lip service and table scraps they don't care what you want Star Wars is dead Star Trek is dead all the things you ever cared about as a kid are most likely dead I'm glad that Babylon 5 is not going to get a revival. I'm glad WB fucked that up enough to where what I got is what I got and they can't fuck around with it anymore. Because in this current climate, it would be a soulless fucking cash grab that would negate everything the original series did. That's all these zombies IPs are doing. They're just shitting over everything you ever enjoyed about it to make a nihilistic rubber band piece of shit story that has nothing to do with the original IP whatsoever because if the real world is shit we have to have that reflect because it's realistic fuck that bullshit don't rely on conservative ink yeah yeah I'm this, this is definitely going into rants conservative ink sucks um so we all have to, again, band together and make shit that uplifts people. I'll link it again below, but some superversive stuff that people really should read, whether it's old or new. See you later, everybody.